Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and again, it's our pleasure to welcome you to the International Nine Ball Open. Thank you very, very much. This event is produced by Pat Fleming, and it's coming to you from the Simonis Aramith Arena at the beautiful Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel here in Norfolk, Virginia. 112 players from 27 different countries have ponied up their entry fee to compete for this most prestigious title, and it really reflects the fact that we do have an international tournament here for you, 27 countries represented. Before I introduce the players for this last match of the afternoon session, I'd like to take an opportunity to thank our three major sponsors, Aramith, Simonis, and Diamond, for their terrific support of not only this event, but of professional pool around the world. Thank you very, very much. Lastly, certainly not least, on behalf of Pat Fleming, the entire production team here, and all of our great champions, we want to say thank you to each and every one of you out there watching, and to all of you that have come here to watch live in person. We appreciate what you do, and you've given so much back to the game that we all love. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, it's now my pleasure to introduce our two players for this 2.30 uh, match. And our first player is from Las Vegas, Nevada. He recently took a third place in the U.S. Open 10-ball championship this year. He's sponsored by Fowler Electric. Please welcome Mitch Ellerman. Thank you very much. And his opponent is from Austria. He's the 2016 World Nine Ball Champion, ladies and gentlemen. He's sponsored by Predator. Please welcome Albin Ocean. Okay, go ahead and lag for the break, gentlemen. Good luck to both of you. I now have the honor to send it up to the commentary booth to Mark Wilson and to Hall of Famer Danny DiLiberto. Take it away, Mark. This is a beautiful day to play to here at the International Open. My name is Mark Wilson. Alongside me, Danny DiLiberto. Albin Ocean, Mitch Ellerman, Danny, any pre-match thoughts? Well, I'm looking at the lag. It looks like a dead heat. Well, the one on the right, he's pushing it over. But, yeah, I, I don't know Ellerman. I'm anxious to see him. I heard he's got a chance to be on the U.S. Moscone team. Uh, but I know Albin Ocean is a great player. And his sister, Jasmine, is one of the top women players in the world. So they got a pool family. Yeah, they sure do. You know, a big club. Ellerman's won the lag. Power stroker. Power break. His fate is probably going to be determined uh, here at the International Open as to whether he makes the final five. So there's some pressure here besides just the fact that he needs to win or wants to win. Ocean's a cool customer, won a world championship. Solid veteran player, played on the last few Team Europe Moscone Cup teams. Race to 11, we're breaking from the break box. It's nine inches left or right of center table. Most of the players cut breaking, trying to make the one in the side. Just missed. Something else went in, though, didn't it? I thought I, I heard hope something. So. For his sake. Okay, three, six, seven. Okay, yeah. He made one. Right? Yes, he did. Eight balls on the table. Got a pretty good shot on the one. Now, how do you get to the two? Looks like he can back cut this ball in, or he can bank. Oh, he's got it. He's going to back cut it, Mark. I think he's got room to go one rail and hit the two. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's got a shot. Yeah, rearranged the furniture a little bit there. Wasn't completely unfavorable. Three goes in the side, but I think he's got to draw into the nine maybe to hold the cue ball. He did. Watch out. That was a great shot. Yeah. Bumped and clattered, but everything went well. Okay. 
Ellerman picks up a nice shot. This would be a great start to the match with a break and run out here. Win the lag. Well, he's got a chance to break and run out. Oh, that's not real good. Well, it's okay. He needs a little angle, though. He's okay. Roll it in, take the six inside. You don't have much to do to get to the seven. Play the rail scratched. first. Yeah, he, he played scratched. it rail first. The, the, what happened there is the, the English is what made it follow straight. It wasn't straight in, but the English he put on made it follow straight. Yeah, he was trying to go rail first, and he just hit it a little bit too flush to let the cue ball release from the side rail. Yeah, that's a bad spot to give away a game. You had the game locked up. But you got to forget that now forever. Can't take that inning into your next inning. One zero, Alban Ocean. I would say Alban's strengths would be on the finesse part of the game, the kicking and safety, and then his pattern play is going to be impeccable as well. In other words, he's a little smarter than Ellerman about pool. Well, I think maybe a little more experienced playing at high-level pool with super slick conditions. And you're talking experience. He's not that old man. How old is he, would you say? Well, he's 31 years old. <laughs> you guessing? <laughs> I think you're guessing. <laughs> Mark guesses sometimes. <laughs> Well, if you ask me a question, I don't want to be embarrassed. Well, so no, he wants to come off. with an answer, even if it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, 90% of all facts are made up on the spot, just so you know. Now, Billy Thorpe's looking on. John Schmidt's ringside. John Schmidt just off a big win. Ocean breaking from the left side of the box as he faces it. Heat ball on the wing. One ball rattled on in. That's been doing that a lot. Good power. Oh, he's got a shot at the two. I don't know if the four goes by the seven in the side. What do you think? No, I don't think it does. Well, then but he's going to have to go around it and play it in the corner. It's, it's tricky here. Yeah, he can play it short of that. He can, See, you he can go get, at it. He can bump it, too. Yeah, you got to get good on the four to get to the five. He's That's gonna, what pool is about. Look how good he hit this. Boy. And he's got the right angle mm -hmm. to go to the five. You know, a little bit, but he's got enough power. He needs an angle on the five anyway, so he's going to get that angle to get to the six. The six as well. It's a little bit obstructed. He worked the cue ball close well, to the five. Got two fin. No, no. I think he's beautiful here. Oh, I think you he, think so? I think he can come down below the six and play it into the far corner pocket. Oh, that might be the best way to go because that takes away the scratch in the side. So I think you're right there, Mark. Nice pure hit. Oh, he did it really great. Boy, he couldn't have got better with his hand. The, the beautiful part is how clean the ball entered the pocket, which provides him with a good speed control. When you hit the pocket uh, kind of haphazardly, now your speed control and your angles subsequent to that are oftentimes fractured. That is what happens from a unforced error is that sometimes it compounds itself because your opponent will break and run out. 
sort of penalize you. So for the game that Ellerman did not break and run out, it's now going to cost him two games minimum. 2-0. Ocean's first break and run out of the set. Well, Carl announced Ellerman as from Las Vegas, and the chart said Phoenix, Arizona. So which one is it? Yeah, well, he originally, or most recently, was Phoenix, but has now moved to Las Vegas just recently. And that, when I say recently, I mean in the last six or seven months. I mean, you know, the cops got to know where to find him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I suppose that Las Vegas maybe is a, a a better place for him to be. There's more tournaments, and maybe there's more games for him to practice. And there's craps and blackjack. All right. Well, Ocean displaying a good power break there his first time out. See what he comes up with here. Breaks with his, off his fingers here. You don't see that that often. Raises up. Oh, he just missed the one in the side, but he made balls. And, and he's got a backward cut on the one, but I don't know if it's shootable. Might have to play safe. I think he's playing safe. I don't think he wants to bank this or cut it in the side. <clears throat> and this, the safety's going to involve moving both balls, so there's a lot of if and uh, a lot of skill required to comfortably handle this. So this is one of these things, end rail to end rail, if you can get the separation, you're not likely to hook him. Well, I think he could hook him. Cut the one and go all the way behind the eighth. The one might stop on the rail. Oh, yeah. That's the shot. Yeah, that's a nice call. Playing well for that. And I think that is what he will decide and shoot. Hearing just glide the one over by the four. Trying to get it close to the rail. That's what he did. What? What Good a shot. shot. Oh, devastating. So that's what happens from the unforced error by Ellerman in the first track where he could have broken run out but it had an inadvertent scratch on the seven ball or eight ball or six ball. What was it? Six ball, I guess. Now he's kicking for his life after he's lost two consecutive games without returning to the table. A two rail kick also. Got to draw the ball a little to do that. High ball will not get there. He did it. He missed the side with the cue ball. Left the shot on the one. But tough to get to the three from that. Unless the three goes in the side, but I know you're going to say it's too extreme an angle, but that might be what he has because he doesn't have much position to play. Oh, good shot. Goodness gracious. He had to warp that in there. What a good shot. He sure was. Look at where the cue ball. <laughs> where he's kind of in a precarious <clears throat> spot here. We are playing all ball fouls. Well, he was beating optimistic to see if the four goes by the eight. That's very optimistic. Well, it definitely goes by there. Oh, it does, yeah. I'm sure he knows that. Oh, good hit. What a good hit. And he's got the angle now to do anything to get to the six. He already checked to see if the four passes, and he decided it does. He 
He's really well, he's playing with confidence and pocketing cleanly, isn't he? You know, you can see his ball speed and his control. He just feels so comfortable. That's going to be a, a tough mountain for Allerman. Or anyone else for that matter. I think you play the eight in the far corner, especially where the nine is. That's what he did. Pretty good, too. He won't be on the cushion. Roll it in. Good shot. Yeah, Ocean looks unwilling to beat himself, so this is going to be really tough. 3 0 is our score. Ocean in front and breaking. good to be back here in Norfolk. It's such a beautiful place. We're right on the bay here at the Sheraton Waterside. And they got a lot of great restaurants right next door. Yeah, tried a few of those. It's a real fun environment here, too. I think so. A lot of youthful energy. The hotel staff is very accommodating and friendly. It's just a comfortable setup for a pro tournament. He's speaking of friendly. They voted Buffalo the friendliest city in the United States. And the best wings. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> where it all started. <laughs> Here we go. Ocean breaking here. This is rack four. One ball went high of the side pocket. I didn't hear anything else go in. First dry break. Well, poor Ellerman, I don't think he has a clear shot at the one. Maybe. He's looking at it. Maybe. I think the six is sticking out a little bit. But how do you get to the four after all this? Mm -hmm. Oh, he had that. That was a great shot. He's looking at the combination, but my goodness, off this, angle. You're right. Whoa. This, I wouldn't have to, you know, I, I'd rather go to the electric chair and then shoot this. But he didn't care. You know, sometimes if you don't know a shot is tough, you hit it better. Yeah. The psychological stuff. Well, the good thing with him was he was very committed to that shot. He didn't well, have trepidation and ambiguity. He got up there and shot it like he meant it. Well, he got good on the three to get to the four. Oh, that point hurt him a little. A lot. He would have been perfect. Now it's going to be tough to hold it for the five. That's what I like, playing safe. The shot and position were difficult. I wasn't going to say that, but I've been wrong all day about that. Yeah, folks, when the shot and position are tough, look to play safe. Good job there, because you, there's no sense taking a misfortune and turning into a second shot. That's... He's already losing 3 nothing. <laughs> yeah, you really don't want to let that freight train get rolling. Oh, he jumped it pretty well. Look where the uh -huh. cue ball went. Oh, I think he snookered him. He doesn't have a full ball to hit. Well, maybe he does, but I don't think so. Well, 
Well, he's shooting it. And making it. You were right about his firepower. That was a good shot. Now he's gonna need the bridge. No, he can shoot both hands. It didn't look real smooth, but he did it. Except look what happened. He's gonna have to go to the safety exchange again. Good speed. Maybe. No, he left it. I think Ocean's going to shoot this. He don't have to, but I think he's going to shoot it. Position will be tough if he shoots it. if he feels comfortable to shoot at it, so. Require a pretty good shot to make it out from here. Got to shoot it soft. Yeah, he didn't come close. Where's the cue ball going? It was almost like he overcut it just so he'd maintain more speed on the cue ball. Sometimes we... We try to help the cue ball by doing that, but it wasn't laying right. You couldn't hit the pocket with that type of a hit. <laughs> the straight shooter, Alvin. Rifles the six ball home. He's gonna get on the scoreboard. Ocean You have to love the commitment to the shot that Ellerman displays. He's just, he plays to his own strengths, which is shot making, power breaking. Well, I'll confuse you again. How old is he? <laughs> You're going to use 31 again? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, deep the six ball, almost fell on the side. Ellerman pocketed the ball. Very thin cut on the one. Oh, tooth fit. It's not a shot. Although he might, he's looking at it. He's going to cut at it. I feel like the six ball might just fall in. It is so close. Yeah, it was a tough shot. I don't think he used good judgment there. Of course, easy to second guess when he missed it. One ball's very deep as well, and these are the balls that are so tricky to play position from. Right. When the ball's hanging that deep, folks, tough to play position. Although the three is out in, in the air. Rail first. Good speed. Yeah, he handled it pretty nicely. Look at this. He might be straight in on the three six. I think he is. But don't cut the six or you'll lose the three. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a much more uh, difficult shot than you might think because it's not about pocketing the six. He's comfortable with heads handling the three after it pockets the six. Oh, he did it pretty nicely. <laughs> yeah, for the three he set up in front of the side pocket like that, that was perfectly played. Well, the four to the five to the seven, pretty easy. I could see it. He has great cue ball control, this kid. Got just a little more action than he wanted in the cue ball, so he's going to just have to roll the head. He's going to get perfect. Which he did. Not quite straight, so he can get a little further away from the seven. While preserving the angle. angle. Well, he'll be able to preserve that. Perfect. Very good hit. Well, he might have to be on the cushion, but it doesn't matter. He'll make the nine anyway. He's on the cushion, but I like his chances of making the nine. Very open stance here, got plenty of clearance. Glides through the cue ball well. 4-1 is our score. I do enjoy his form. Ken Schumann has the balls racked. We're ready to go. Left side of the break box as Ocean faces the table. Well, the two was on the way. I don't think he made anything. Another dry break. Not an easy shot for the one ball. Looks like he could possibly spin it in. Does have possibilities if he does pocket the one to be able to run the rack. Oh, good speed here. <laughs> what a shot that was. Getting to the two was difficult. Now he's got a, a great chance to get close to the three. Yeah, he fell on that pretty nice. No problems here. Got the perfect angle on the four to get to the five. And he got good on the five to get to the six. It's seven to the eight. It'd be a little bit of a problem, especially if you get too straight. Well, he's got a little angle on the six. He's going to have to pound this a little. I think he can top spin it to the center. Yeah, you're right. Got a perfect angle now to get to the eight. Very 
quick pace, nice flow. Typical of left-handers, very smooth on their stroke transition. Routine nine ball now. Powerman tra trails two games to four. Well, now we see Ellerman approach the table. We're playing with the nine ball racked on the spot in a nine inch break box. Ellerman goes to the right side of the break box as he faces the table. See if he can get some offense generated from his break. And it looks like he made noise only. The one cuts. But if you shoot it, it's going to be tough to control to the two. I put him behind the five. Two rails behind the five. Oh, he wanted to shoot. I think he had a good chance to play safe there. And he did. He made the most of that. He purposely realized that there was a good chance that that one ball could settle on the end rail and he could use those blockers if the bank finds the mark, he's on the two. It Which doesn't. makes it a free bank. No, it's not right on the rail, so you can even get in behind this and scratch. Yeah, it's dangerous. It. Uh, it's a sellout. It's a sellout. But what could you do? He did his best. He made a solid impact on the ball. Three ball appears to be in the odd place. Yeah, I don't think it goes by the eight. Might have to play for a bank. Well, if he can stop it, he maybe glide the cue ball in between the three and the eight. No. Couldn't stop it. And he got too thin to hold it for the bank. Got to hit rails now. It's going to require some dynamic execution. Too aggressive, I think, to go to the end rail and try to come in between the three and the eight after you pocket this in the side. No, we might have to play for the bank if you're going to shoot. Right. Ocean uses the extension. Extension. We're playing with the 40-second shot clock.
Interesting shot here. In the corner. Oh, he's trying to go in between them. What a shot. Oh, he did it pretty well. Too thin a cut, though. He's going to lose Whitey. <laughs> he's thinking anything but that little quarter inch. Very thin hit. Yeah, very thin. The cue ball is liable to clash with the three. Oh, he's trying to mass it it's not move the cue ball. Good hit. No position, but good hit. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, <laughs> pretty unfortunate there. He took a high risk shot, but it didn't lead to a win. Well, he's going right to the area uh, jump queue. Well, here we go, Danny. Got right over it, spiked it in, drew back. <laughs> but he didn't get position but delighted to still be shooting. You're right, he didn't give up ball in hand. Yeah, the great thing, that was a tremendous shot because you can still defend yourself from here. I'll have to turn the table over on the air. He's looking to cut it. He's got to hit the paint. Very thin hit. Gonna spin it a little. Good hit. Very good. Well, he's going to have to play the seven in the far corner, but he's got position to do that. And he did it, and he's got an angle now to get to the eight. I think here you go forward two rails to the eight. I don't like pounding it. Go forward two rails. That's what he did. He got good. Yeah, pretty smooth, too. He didn't pound it, like you said, but he did spin it with some power. Traveled the cue ball quite a ways off of a very thick hit. Well, the English he used made it not have to hit it so hard. Drew the cue ball back, not to help him to pocket the ball, but to help him control the cue ball from here. And just like that, 5-2 is our score. for Ellerman, 974 for Ocean. That's a remarkable standard of the play here. Ocean's got his game face on, right? Yep. Ocean is 28 years old. Oh, he got three years younger in the last half hour. Yep, uh, I just Googled it. He 
Tiffany went with Wade, draw, and side spin, left side spin. <laughs> He's looking up here. He knows he slightly mishit it, but was successful. He was going with just a little bit of low left, and he got a whole lot of low left. Well, he made a ball, but he doesn't have much on the on the one ball. Going thin safety here, it looks like. Not going to be able to get much separation, I don't believe. No, he was able to hit it thick. Pretty controlled. Oh, boy. Yeah, that will leave a mark. Tough ball to hit. Well, he's got a one real kick at it, but there's no guarantee that you're going to be successful with the lead. Well, if he hits it high, it's going to go long. I see it. He had to draw it a little bit to shorten it. I think we're going to see a combination here. No. I guess the run out is better. But I think you could shoot the combination. Ball in hand? I would advise it. back just a little bit. Last night we went to Q Master Billiards. <laughs> 72 tables. Yeah, isn't that amazing? We played on a pristine diamond 5x10. That was really a fun thing. How many bars does it have? It has a few, doesn't it? You know, <laughs> I don't forget Never the mind. bars. You 31. Know that. <laughs> You're supposed to say 31 again. <laughs> well, no, we went straight to table one. The five by ten, and we enjoyed ourselves till too late. Mm. Oh, he didn't do it too well there. Well, he's okay, but it, it oh, he is. Didn't, yeah, he's going to make the ball. He's got just. He's going to have to spin it. Just a slight blocker here. He, he knows he should have been better, but he hit the other ball just a little bit heavy, the three ball. Good shot. Overcame it. He looks really sharp, doesn't he? He does. Good player. David Alcady in the arena. Dennis Arcolo. Shane Van Moning sitting next to Billy Thorpe and Skyler Woodward. Hank the Tank. Steak horse extraordinaire. In that group. Got a perfect angle. Cruising. Six two is our score. Ocean in front and breaking. Winter break format at the International Open. Earlier Shane Van Boning won his match in dominating fashion. Look at Ocean shooting nine seventy nine.
ultra strong. Yep. Motion breaking, left side of the box, cue ball got away, found the side pocket, and this is something that uh, has fallen Ellerman's way. Got to get out. Got to get out here, Ellerman. This has nothing to do with Mitch Ellerman, but just in American players in general. They really need to make sure they capture these with tight patterns so they don't have to expose themselves to becoming a shot maker. You just cannot be one bit casual if you want to be effective at this international open. All the world class talent here on display. Straight. He's going to follow no, down okay. play the side. Yeah, he'll miss the side. He got good on this. Nice shot. Now just stop and you got the angle on the six to get to the seven one rail. Oh, he didn't want to take the cut and go one rail. This might have, he might have to be a little longer now. He's got a little angle, missed the eight. He did miss the eight. Yeah, he's not making this rack look too easy. Mm. He's still getting funny. Yeah, that got messy. Well, if he makes it, he's going two rails to the nine. Ten hit, though. What a good shot maker. Real good shot. Okay, 6-3 is our show, uh, score. Nice display of shot making there. Not so much on the positional side. You're right. He didn't make that look easy. You got to get out easy ranks for your nerves. <laughs> really. You got to do too much. Eventually, your nerves will go. Ten, pitch breaks, six three, Elvin. Elvin, breaking, does he make a ball in the break? He didn't, unfortunately for Mitch. Position's gonna be tough though, because he's gonna run into the uh, 
sport ball. Yeah, I don't think he can get real close to the two. I don't think he needs a whole lot. Just middle of the table will be fine. Well, it didn't affect him at all. He got close. Cut it into the pocket Great so it speed. had the right angle and the speed. He's executing really well. First match of the event. He appears all dialed in already. We watched Justin Bergman play a match on this table earlier. It was just a hair messy. He played well, consistent, but uh, not quite as refined as what we're seeing from Ocean. Too, you see a lot of guys play kind of a messy first match and then they get the tempo up, come through. Next couple matches, they really get the momentum going, make a deep run. That's what Lasseter used to do. He would start slowly the first matches, then once he got in gear, forget it. He didn't miss. I was privileged to see Luther Lasseter play in this very event in the early stages back 40-some years ago, I guess. Yeah, when he couldn't play anymore. But he was still effective. He, he was not oh, of bottom of the field. He was, he was tough. I played him a lot of times. The ocean might have fallen just a little short. Oh, he's got to pound this one in. This will be a pretty shot. Like Danny said, he's going to have to go A little bit up. of a stroke, which makes the pocket smaller. Good hit. Really nice timing. Nice, solid, clean. Yeah, really nice timing on that delivery. Very fluid transition, backswing to forswing. Once again, a little flat, going to draw back He's up. He's straight, the... but you got to just make it and take the shot. It's not that tough. That's what he did. Dominating performance thus far, much like we saw Johnny Archer in the previous match. He... This stage of the match, Johnny was playing about a 970 as well. He then fell off, which is very hard to maintain a 970. We have people listening in from all over the United States. I want to say hello to Carl Baum back in St. Louis. Carl's my buddy. That's it? Yeah, you got he one buddy? Yeah, I got one buddy. One good buddy, anyway. He wishes he was here. He said he would stir up the action. And I'm <laughs> quite certain that is true. In what way would he? Uh, well, whatever you want to bet, he will double it. Really? Yep. Happily. Ocean scratch, I believe, on the last break that he had. That's the deal with the cut break. The cue ball does get loose sometimes, get kissed around. He went right, he attacked the nine ball with the cue ball there, made the one on the side, made something else. Then the three and the four got a little funny there, so 
Probably going to just go super soft and try to lodge the cue ball up on the four. That's the right shot. Not necessarily a great call on my part. That's about all he has. You will get away. I'm not sure if he blocked him or not. I don't no, think I so. No, I think he can hit it. He's disappointed about that outcome, I'm sure, because he felt like he should be able to handle the cue ball just a little better from there. But that is about the extent of the errors that we've seen from Alvin Ocean thus far, was that he didn't really lock down the safety. And he might get punished for it. Well, he should hit this. Where it stops, nobody knows, but he's going to hit it. What a nice shot. That is elite level, world-class pool. Super soft, that's all you could do. And the idea is to buy yourself one more turn at the table. Maybe, maybe give Ellerman a chance to maybe leave something a little bit better than where he was at. He was betting the game on there that he would hit the proper half of the three ball so it wouldn't turn out bad. It's all that risk and reward analysis that he had. He knows he's vulnerable to lose the game with any shot, but thought this provided the best opportunity for him to possibly reassert himself in this particular rack. Now, Ellerman's looking at trying to finesse this. Oh, he could do it. Pan it and try to snooker him with the four. Well. That's what he's going to do. Or he's going to try to do. Yeah, this is not his best part of the game. Oh, he didn't do it. He made the cue ball, it looks like. That's a bad shot. I don't think he had to go distance there. I think he could have just fanned it and put him behind the four, but that's over forever. Clearly, Elman's a shot maker and a breaker. Oh, he's going to get a perfect angle now to go one rail to the seven. After he makes the four and the five. Looks like you got a little straight here. Does seven go by the eight? No. 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 Yeah, he didn't have to get straight. He could have got an angle easily. He's going to go two rails to the seven in the side. Look out, nine ball, and he can get behind the nine with this shot. You're right. Hit it good. Oh, what a nice hit. Good speed, too. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So he recovered. He got a little flat on that ball, but he recovered nicely. He's worked the cue ball back in the line. Silly as it may sound, it's not the concerning part of this is not the score, it's the fact that uh, Albin Ocean is not faltering at all on any of these. So now you know you have to perform like a superhuman feat to come back. You're not going to be able to count on Albin Ocean that was making one mistakes. Of his bad shots there. Well, his bad shot is still going to result in a win. He's going to make oh, this yeah, ball. Oh yeah, but I mean, he made it a little tougher. He's got a good shot, but that's not what he wanted. He didn't hit the cue ball high enough, or he would never brush the nine. I imagine he'll make this.
Yeah, that was just about as close to an error as he made. You're the, right. The, the great shot in that rack was that super soft kick, one rail, just a, and it was an obtuse angle, so it's not an easy thing to control, and you have to hit the proper side of it. He executed it perfectly, forced Ellerman into a finesse play, which he did it's not. It's not his game. Right, did not do well. 8-3 is now our score. Helman Ocean still hovering at 970. 900 is world class, 850 is pro. Got some serious nine ball action by sending the cue ball through the pack last break. So, yep, Jason Shaw did that last year. Here he got nine ball action yet again. Made oh, a ball. look at this. He made two balls and he's got a perfect shot on the two. I think you got to go forward and play the three in the far corner. I don't think he has any angle on the two to do anything other than what I said. Yeah, super soft speed, preserved a nice angle. Realized the three ball was just far enough away from the long rail. It'd be easy to get too flat on it. So. He got good here. Just don't miss. I don't remember him missing an open shot yet. Well, that's why he's shooting 972. True that. Two, uh, one cushion to the center here. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, I think the closest we've come is that he almost missed the ball, but he made it. That's how you know you're playing well. Well, he got straight on this ball. I don't know if he could cheat the pocket a little just to get an angle. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's straight, and if he has to come straight back, that's a little bit of a problem. And when you power up, just the way the four ball enters the pocket can let you either go right at the five or create a little bit of angle just by an eighth of an inch difference in the pocket. Boy, that was a good stroke. Well, he overcooked it a little bit here. A little bit, but he's okay. He's okay that he has to work. All right. right, he's still on at the table. He's going to go two rails now to the six. They have to use a little bit of backspin to avoid the side pocket. Oh, he's going past the side. That's why I'm saying a little bit low. He doesn't want to go at the side pocket because he knows he could scratch there. Oh, he's looking. Oh, he's going to try to hit it soft and play the six. I like going with a little speed past the side, two rails to the six. <laughs> well, he hasn't made up his mind yet, but you're right. Maybe the side pocket has got him... Uh, a little bit intimidated. Yeah, that's a big shot here. He needs to be very committed to ball pocketing here at the expense of position. Nice pace, glides perfect. it in. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, good recovery shot. Didn't try to overdo anything. <laughs> he was hoping to not fall too straight. It looks like he has a little angle here. Pretty good. Notice his cueing action too, Danny. Super fluid transition, backswing to forswing. Head stays still. It's always on the iffy shots where that uh, jumps out to you that the guy's scared. Alvin Ocean is not scared. What a hit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This game will be his second break and run out of the match. He now leads nine games to three. You usually say 
He's one game away from being on the hill. <laughs> I was saving that for later in the week. Oh, okay. You could use it again. Mm -hmm. He's on the hill to be on the hills. Right? Yeah. Well, it's the whole package. He's playing 974. Has not missed open shots. Has recovered from a couple of awkward positional plays. Something to be mindful of is that always when you play on a brand new Simona's cloth with brand new balls, we know it's very fast, but when you have brand new balls that do not have any micro abrasions on the outside, it goes 10% faster than what super fast is. Here we go. He's got quite a bit of nine ball action his last two breaks. Sending the cue ball right to the middle of the pack. Try it again. Side again. Does the two pass the seven? Mm, I think it does. And if it does, we fully expect Just him to play it. Just roll it in. Take the shot on the three. You certainly can't hit this with any speed. Well, I think he has a full pocket. I don't think oh, seven. Oh, he does, but so. he's still got to make the ball. Right. I think he's afraid if he rolls it in, he may come out and bump the Well, the problem the seven. probably is the three to the four in his brain. You know, if you make the two, what are you going to have with the three? Nothing great, but just don't miss. Well, the... The risk is maybe take the risk on the two ball with a little bit below center so you stay closer to the three so you can draw all the way back for the five. If you roll forward. He's not going real forward. He's got an angle. Well, he's going <laughs> to... Looks like he's now... He doesn't have as much of the pocket as I thought, so he's going to push out. Maybe he has no pocket. Yeah. If he's pushing here, he clearly has no pocket. Right. Surely wouldn't push out to a shot that uh, would be straight in. This is one of those little testy spots here where good players extract themselves from a tough circumstance and get themselves to the table one more time. A lot of things can go awry, and that's where experience really pays a dividend. Just going to put the two on the end rail. Good shot. Real good shot. He was even able to introduce the seven ball into the equation here. Needs a rail. Got, got it. it. Good shot. He went rail first just for that reason. He didn't want to move that two ball Very too good. far. Good thinking. Yeah, it was. Many people, when they can see the edge of the ball, never think about going rail first to slow down the progress of the object ball. That was pretty savvy by Ellerman. Not only was it savvy, it was knowledgeable. Right on the button. Oh, almost made it. Yeah, he sold out. Made nice speed, too, because if it clears the pocket, it is likely it's going to lodge itself down there awkwardly around the five and eight. Ackerman's got a thread between the eight and nine, into the nine. Yeah. 
tough that, position here. And it wasn't easy to do what I was advocating. I'm just saying it was going to be trouble all the way. I think you go three rails here at the nine. You got to go forward. Rail first. Good decision. Good shot. Real good shot. Not a great angle here. No, we got a 50 yard line. Inside spin, Danny. We're going to see a little low inside, yeah. Good Why? shot. Smoothly executed. Well done, Mitch Hellerman. Nine four, Hellerman trailing but breaking. It's been a fairly fast paced match. Has not been many turnovers, has not been many multiple inning racks. And there hasn't been any great stumbling. Look at the rack track there. Motion had a three rack flurry to start the match. Then interjected another three rack flurry here towards the end. Ellerman has yet to get on track and put two racks together. Yeah, he's been winning one at a time. You can't beat great players doing that. He made the cue ball. The wrong ball to make. But look at the one and two. <laughs> yeah. So the three and the six, that's probably the only relief that's in sight for yeah, Ellerman. That's going to be the problem. But he might have to play safe off the three. Mm hmm. Straight on, four rail it. Could. You can also uh, just go ahead and play safe using the two and drive the two into the three and six to loosen them up and maybe block the cue ball with the five. Does have a few options. He's going to go one rail up table and play the two. Oh, that was the it first. was a terrible shot. That was the first bad shot of the match by Ocean. You know what? How come he hit it that hard? He was trying to chip the four ball out of there, I believe. But You didn't need to do that. Well, I understand. I'm just saying, I was just answering your question. I'm not I'm advocating. just talking to the people out there. I know you playing perfect. <laughs> that was the worst shot he's made. Yeah, with ball in hand, and then you end up kicking. That's not good. And then the two ball was only a foot away from the one ball. I don't think he got him. Oh, 
Well, maybe he did, though. The way Ocean's looking, maybe mm -hmm. he did. But if he hits any part of this, he can one rail, hit the tooth thin and go distance. No, what's he doing? He's jumping, looks like. Wasted jump. Oh, well, he's jumping to the edge. Yeah. Oh, and he opened them too. <laughs> I thought it was a wasted jump. And that was an elite level shot. It, what a great shot it was. It certainly was. He followed up the worst shot of the match with perhaps the best shot of the match. Yeah, he was stalling just to get the guy off guard. <laughs> yeah, softening Bob. Yeah. <laughs> well, he made a tremendous shot there and he made it so smoothly. Someone that's playing a lot of pool. Make it look like that. Oh. Never a doubt. Now that's what I'm saying. You know you're playing well when you almost miss. takes tremendous mental strength to go through a series of tough balls like this at the end of the match with a pretty decent lead and go ahead and put it away. You gotta have that killer instinct and you cannot let up at all. It's so easy to just flicker your focus for a moment and then hang a ball up or knock it out of open layout like this and kind of reinvigorate your opponent who's nearly out of the match. Now I go forward three rails on the seven. You know, it takes the side pockets out of it. I think you go forward three rails. See what he thinks. Yeah. He's looking at going behind the side and front of the side. And he's looking at if he has an extension because he wants to take his time here. He does have an extension. 40-second shot clock is involved. He's not going to be in a hurry. Yeah, I wouldn't go cross side. Side pocket enters. Go forward, there's no problem. He still hmm. hasn't made up his mind. If he goes side rail, side rail, then I think it's going to be center ball hit, which, like Danny says, if you miss hit the seven even a little bit. I like going forward. If he goes forward, then it'll be right-hand English. Yes, he does. Oh, he didn't. And there was the side, but he avoided that good control. Mm-hmm. Didn't overhit it, did not try to work the cue ball real close to the eight, but just since the position that he has here. Oh, great shot. Look at the speed on this. 50 yard line. Yeah, well, he tripped past perfect. it, he's yeah. Good. I'm sure he's delighted to have this outcome from where he began this rack at, that jump draw. And the very classy 10th win for Albin Ocean. It's on the hill. Yep, this is an elite performance. 966 is what his DPA is right now. Way over world class. This is what happens at this level, though. These guys play so well. You could anyone could win this tournament. Elderman just hasn't had a, enough opportunities. Had Albin faltered just a little bit, Elderman looks to be pocketing the balls quite well. Could have easily inflicted some damage here, made this match much much closer. He just didn't get enough turns thus far. 
Yeah, but to make it closer, he would have had to break Ocean's arms. Mm -hmm. Well, the one thing that did hurt him was when he was trying to make a safety and shot straight into the corner pocket. That, that seemed to tip the scales way in Ocean's favor, and he was already leady. Two ball and nine. No. Seven ball. Five ball, seven ball. What happened there? He definitely made a ball, but I don't think he has any kind of a shot at the one. Safe. He's got to play a good safe. I think hit it straight on. Might go behind the eight with the cue ball. Mm-hmm. He's measuring it up now, looking if he wants to try to roll the cue ball behind the eight or stun it over. Or he knows that the one ball is going to be rattling around down table if he does so. Reluctant to push out, make it even worse. Oh, pushing out, you get the worst of it, like you said. Hit it straight on, you might go behind the eight, sticking it. The two, the one's going to go at the three. Oh, he had a shot all the while. Take it back, folks. Forget what I just said. What a shot that was, too. He, <laughs> Great. And uh, such a smooth cueing action, and what good dexterity and control speed-wise. It's always pure class to break and run out the last rack. He understood that. That was my mandate. He's trying to follow through. Checked it up with inside spin. Great shot. Looked easy, folks, but that was not easy. That's good. He, he chose the short route with the cue ball, and that's how to do it. Make the five up the corner and stick. Might have to go a little forward and hit the rail. Looks pretty straight. Good shot. He's got the perfect angle to get to the eight. Come on, Alvin, your opponent is suffering. End it. <laughs> Good recovery shot. Bent the cue ball around the nine. Got the cue ball out in the air so you can play for the side on the nine. Which he did. And this would be his third break and run out of the match to seal the deal. Alvin Ocean, quality performance there. Super tough. And he played, what, 969 for the match. Very good. Yeah, really enjoyable match, too. Very few innings, very few exchanges, nothing too messy. Directly, we got a short interview with Raw Hannah. Alvin Ocean. We want to say thank you to everybody for joining us today. Stay tuned. We'll be bringing you much more action. On behalf of Mark Wilson and Danny Delberto, so long for just a while. Raw hand here with AccuStats. Alvin Ocean versus Mitch Elliman. Alvin, this table is still smoking from that, <laughs> that shooting. How did you do it? 
Oh, well, uh, prepared uh, pretty well in the last couple of days at home uh, and uh, felt quite good. Uh, um, had a good start and uh, made uh, some very important shots. Okay, Mitch, it seemed like you got the train started, but that scratch on the first rack seemed to cost you. Yeah, it was uh, significantly affecting me early on, especially in my head, just kind of beating myself up because I'm my own worst critic. So, you know, letting that tend to fester. And then uh, when I did win a game, I'd either break dry or I believe I'd scratch twice. So it just kind of takes the wind out of your sails. But Right. And speaking of the break, you broke almost perfect. Uh, it seemed the Europeans have that cut break down pat. Uh, yeah, we had it uh, many years ago at the Euro Tour, but still it's, uh, it's uh, m much luck. Uh, if you if you see one ball or if you can play after the break, so um, well in the middle of the match I changed uh, to the right side and it uh, went pretty perfect. And uh, I think uh, another uh, point of the match was uh, when I made the incredible run out. I think f at four two or something with jump shot and everything. I think uh, that could have been a chance for him to get back into the match. But, uh, of course, I'm glad uh, I won that rack. That's right. Both of you guys in contention for Moscone Cup. I know, Mitch, not your best effort right now, but I know you're still going to come back strong. And, Albin, you're in contention, too. What do you think of your chances are? Oh, well, now I'm in the in the third position. So I'm actually now in the Moscone Cup. I'm only one point ahead of Niels. So, uh, well, it's going to be a huge tournament. <laughs> All right. And you, Mitch? Uh, you know what? I can't be mad. I mean, yeah, I made mistakes, but as long as I learned from it, you know, it takes a great player to beat me. I'm all right with it. All right. Thank you for joining us here at Akersat. Make sure you stay tuned and dialed in. We'll be back later.